because nothing says sedition like beeping your horn. Absolutely remarkable. I mean, just think of the language. I know it sounds familiar to you, right? A threat to democracy, uh, an insurrection, sedition. Yeah. CNN, even after Jeff Zucker is gone, the stench of the smear tactic still lingers. The network is like walking into a men's room that Stelter is walking out of. Of course, this fiction has less fatalities than a set visit with Alec Baldwin, and there's no evidence offered by these people. But as suspected, expected, they all fall in line like Canadian geese heading south for the winter. The police chief saying his city is under siege, calling the demonstrations a nationwide insurrection. The movement is being called an insurrection by some, paralyzing the Canadian capital. <laughs> Those with the so-called freedom convoy say they're staying put. It's a cult. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, it's so hard to be concerned when we still haven't captured those terrorists at school board meetings. And Canada's PM chimes in, proving that the media and the left always share the same lice-ridden bed. People of Ottawa don't deserve to be harassed in their own neighborhoods. They don't deserve to be confronted with the inherent violence of a swastika flying on a street corner or a Confederate flag or the insults and jeers just because they're wearing a mask. I'd call him a clown, but clowns wear white face. <laughs> so what's the reason for this? Well, Trudeau was born with a silver spoon in his mouth and up his ass. The virtue signaling skunk hates the working class, but also the leg le legacy media is scared. The leggy media. <laughs> the convoy is basically a bunch of Joe Rogans. They aren't buying what the media is selling. So the media needs to create false narratives in which they are the good guys. And the average citizen who no longer listens to them, well, they're the bad guys. They're like a delinquent babysitter who blames the kids for the grease fire in the kitchen or the cigarette burns on the sofa. Remember, CNN once cast Chris Cuomo as the good guy. Now they cast him as the bad guy. The demonizing depends on how it protects their butts. So they demonize the so far so peaceful truckers. It's easy to do. They appear whiter than the NHL All-Star game. So I guess that immediately makes them Nazis. However, much of these critics defended the riots and arson that spread across the country back in 2020. They called the violence peaceful. Now they call the peaceful violent. Even today, it's still nothing to see there with those riots, even when they're the actual nothing is murder. Senator Tom Cotton is demanding answers regarding the lenient prison sentence of a man convicted of burning down a pawn shop in Minneapolis that killed a man inside during the, Flo the George Floyd riots. He was given a light sentence, apparently because the killing was committed during the riots. I mean, protests. Under Merrick Garland, equal justice under the law is deader than that victim of the arson attack. Murder someone in a media-approved riot, you get sympathy. But if you're some trucker who's never committed a crime, nonviolent civil disobedience is added to the ever-expanding definition of insurrection. You see the game. As long as the left-wing media is losing the war over ideas, they must resort to smearing. No wonder they believe Justice Smollett. It's right out of their playbook. Meanwhile, they protect the side they're on politically, even if that side ends up actually killing people. The White House gets attacked by the left, and there's nothing to see here. Cities attacked by the left for weeks or months on end, nothing to see there. A few hour riot ca at the Capitol, worse than 9-11. And remember, as long as you have parrots willing to play along, the lie will always continue. Am I hearing you right, Congressman? You fear Potentially, there could be a civil war here in the United States. I do. And, I, and, and a year ago, I would have said, no, not a chance. Our basic survival is at stake. The basic survival of this democracy. Wow. Yeah, right. Looks like CNN has found their Chris Cuomo replacement. I hope he's got a giant Q-tip. Anyway, I wonder what Mayor Adams thinking about. I eat a plant-based centric <laughs> life. Some people want to call me vegan. Vegans eat Oreos and they drink Coca-Cola. I don't. No offense, but it sounds like some f***ing commie gobbledygook.